Have you ever wondered what makes a TV series stand the test of time, becoming an enduring symbol of the entertainment industry? Perhaps you've pondered when you first encountered the charming 1976 TV series, Alice. Well, you're not alone. This classic sitcom has a special place in the hearts of many, and its lasting appeal is a testament to its quality. But let's dig deeper into what makes Alice so special. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? The answer to this question lies in the show's memorable characters, its relatable storyline, and the timeless humor that transcends generations. Alice effortlessly captured the essence of working class life, making it a relatable and heartwarming experience for viewers of all ages. Now, think back to when you first watched Alice. Was it a cozy family evening around the TV? or maybe a solo binge-watching session. Regardless of when and where, the show likely left a lasting impression. We'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to Alice is a part of its enduring legacy. Now, let's explore some intriguing facts about the show. Alice ran for nine successful seasons, making it a beloved fixture in American television. It was inspired by the 1974 film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, and the show's witty humor, memorable catchphrases, and lovable characters like Alice, Mel, and Flo made it a fan favorite. So, what's your Alice story? Share your memories, and let's celebrate this timeless classic together. In the 1976 TV series Alice, the catchphrase Kiss My Grits quickly became a hallmark of the show. Originally, the character Flo, played by Diane Ladd, was supposed to say, Kiss My Hanadu, but it was considered too racy for television, so they changed it. This memorable catchphrase defined the series. Additionally, Diane Ladd, who portrayed Flo in the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, joined the TV series in the fourth season as Belle Dupree, replacing Flo who left for her own spin-off series, Flo. Moreover, Linda Lavin's performance in Alice earned her a Golden Globe Award. Her acting was a standout element of the show. These interesting facts shed light on the iconic moments and cast changes in the series, making Alice a notable part of television history. The 1976 TV series Alice is well known for Flo's favorite expression, Kiss My Grits. This catchphrase became a memorable part of the show, making it a popular choice among viewers. The show's opening credits featured a shot of a station wagon, which is from the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. The series also had Polly Holiday, who appeared in two movies while the show was on the air. All the President's Men in 1976 and Gremlins in 1984, where she played antagonists to the hero. These facts offer an interesting glimpse into the show's charm and the careers of its cast members. So, Alice from 1976 is more than just a TV series, it's a part of pop culture history. In the 1976 TV series Alice, a noteworthy fact is the replacement of the character Tommy. Originally played by Alfred Lutter III, he was later replaced by Philip McKeon, who happened to be Nancy McKeon's older brother. This sibling duo shared the screen in two episodes of the show before Nancy McKeon went on to star in The Facts of Life, where she became best known for her role as Joe Polniacek. The show Alice witnessed this transition in its cast, which added an interesting dynamic to the series. Vic Tabak, Diane Ladd, and Alfred Lutter III were the only series regulars who were in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, on which this show was based. This 1976 TV series, simply titled Alice, drew its inspiration from the 1974 film of the same name. In this television adaptation, the characters played by Vic Tabak, Diane Ladd, and Alfred Lutter III reprised their roles from the movie. The series centered around the character of Alice Hyatt, played by Linda Lavin, who was a recently widowed woman trying to make a living by working at Mel's Diner. Although the series drew from the film's characters, it introduced new faces to the audience as well. One of the notable aspects of the show is that Polly Holiday and Diane Ladd left the show during its run, allegedly due to some difficulties getting along with Linda Lavin, who portrayed Alice. This cast change was significant as Polly Holiday played the iconic character of Flo, known for her catchphrase, Kiss My Grits. The departure of these characters and the addition of new ones influenced the show's dynamics and storyline. The series also introduced a mysterious character named Chloe, 
who was talked about for years before making her first and only appearance. Chloe was portrayed by Ruth Boozy, and her character's inclusion added a layer of intrigue to the show. In summary, Alice was a television series that built upon the characters of the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, with Vic Tabak, Diane Ladd, and Alfred Lutter III reprising their roles. The show experienced cast changes during its run, and the introduction of Chloe's character added an element of surprise to the series. The TV series Alice from 1976, based on the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, achieved significant success. One notable episode featured Mel trying to market his chili commercially as Chili Con Carney, with Art Carney making an appearance. Moreover, the show's roots trace back to the success of the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, which was designed to be an Oscar vehicle for Ellen Burstyn, who won an Academy Award for her role in The Exorcist. Her Oscar win helped pave the way for more women-centric movies and TV shows, including the series Alice. In the final episode, Foul, 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 that's all folks. References and flashbacks included actress Polly Holiday as her character Florence Flo Jean Castleberry. However, the show did not feature Diane Ladd as Belle, even though she portrayed Flo in the movie version and was considered for an Academy Award. This omission remains unexplained. These aspects shed light on the series' interesting history and its connections to the film that inspired it. Alice holds a unique place in the world of television, and its success is intertwined with the success of its predecessor, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. The TV series Alice, which aired in 1976, was based on a real restaurant located at 1747 N.W. Grand Avenue in Phoenix, Arizona. The actual restaurant building, currently known as Pat's Family Restaurant, was named Mel's Diner during the show's run from 1976 to 1985. Even today, if you check Google Earth's ground view, y'all still see the name Mel's Diner on the building. This real-life location served as the inspiration for the show's iconic diner setting. Interestingly, Alice had some impressive success in the Nielsen ratings. It tied with the popular series MASH for three years, specifically in 1977, 1980, and 1983. This accomplishment reflects the show's popularity and the impact it had on its viewers during its run. In the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, the diner was originally set in Tucson, Arizona. However, for the TV series, it was relocated to Phoenix, which became a key part of the show's identity and storyline. These facts shed light on the real-life inspiration behind the series, its remarkable success in the Nielsen ratings, and the change in the location of the diner from the movie to the TV series. Alice remains a notable part of television history, remembered for its unique diner setting and engaging storyline. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the 1976 TV series Alice, I invite you to journey back to those moments when the screen illuminated your living room and the laughter of Alice, Mel, Vera, and the gang filled the air. This timeless series not only entertained but also connected with our hearts, leaving a lasting imprint on the tapestry of our memories. In the cozy diner of Mel's, we found ourselves wrapped in the warmth of their camaraderie. A slice of life as delicious as any of Flo's famous pies. The trials and tribulations, the ups and downs, mirrored our own journeys, making Alice more than just a show. It became a companion in the adventures of our lives. Now, it's your turn to share the cherished moments and thoughts that this series stirred within you. What lines, scenes, or characters from Alice left an indelible mark on your heart? Were there lessons learned or laughter shared that continue to resonate with you today? Your stories and recollections are the threads that keep the spirit of Alice alive. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us, exploring the nostalgia that Alice invokes. Your connection to this classic series is a testament to the enduring power of television to touch our lives and hearts. We look forward to reading your reflections as they help keep the magic of Alice alive and vibrant for years to come. So, go ahead and share your favorite memories or thoughts about Alice. We're all ears, ready to relish the delightful stories and sentiments you hold dear. Thank you for your time and interest in celebrating the timeless wonder of this beloved show.